It's time now for our quarterly update of what's going on in the machinery business. And Sam O'Toole, New Frontier Ag in McCook, Nebraska, joins us. Uh, Sam, as we are now into fall, let's uh, maybe first go back and, and, and talk about how summer was and kind of how things stack up as we get right into harvest. Well, uh, Ken, summer was a little slow. Uh, I think guys were just apprehensive of uh, buying things. They didn't know how things were going to turn out here. And I think with uh, some of these payments coming through and, and uh, um, crops looking good and we had good moisture through the summer, uh, our last two months have been pretty good and a lot of activity. And, of course, uh, we just see nothing but corn and soybeans almost everywhere. And, and so how – did you have a lot of uh, call for, for, for combines or maybe adding an additional combine this, this fall? You know, we were seeing a lot of uh, interest in uh, used combines and uh, a lot of support equipment like uh, grain carts, uh, header trailers, stuff like that, extra uh, heads. Um, it seemed like uh, guys were planning on having a long wait at the elevator and, and uh, wanting to have that extra grain cart in the field or or an extra uh, semi semi trailer or something like that. What uh, as far as uh, uh, price range or did, did we see some softening in the market at all or 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 or, or good late model equipment uh, is still still pretty strong. You know, uh, the combine still haven't found their their right place in the market. Uh, the the big companies have have uh, held off on uh, uh, building a lot of new ones, uh, so the the new uh, inventory is really tight. Uh, still trying to get rid of some of that used inventory. Um, it seems like those uh, low houred machines are still uh, kind of hard to move if you're trying to get a premium out of them because there's so many uh, machines out on the market right now, and and uh, people are really uh, trying to dump them and move them. So there are some uh, real bargains out there if you look hard enough. It wasn't that many months ago you and I talked that the seemingly four-wheel drives were back kind of uh, in vogue and something that the farmers really needed to have, like like the loader tractor of a couple years ago. Where are we at with four-wheel drives? You know, I'm still seeing that, and the guys I talk with, uh, we're still seeing a strong demand for that. We're, we're seeing a lot of guys, uh, and I think that has a lot to do with the, the bigger tillage and, and, and the higher horsepower demands of the tillage that is being uh, – uh, designed and built nowadays. We're talking with Sam O'Toole, New Frontier Ag in McCook. We've uh, kind of getting an update on how the summer was, looking into fall. We'll take a break and come back, and we're going to talk about uh, financing and some of those options and how that market is uh, is working right now. So stay with us. More coming up.